Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today I thought I would go through 12 Christian books that I am either reading or that's on my reading list or even ones that I finished reading. And to be honest, I've finished reading one book because I've been so busy reading books for my English Lit for sixth form that I haven't really had time to read these Christian books but I have started reading some of them and the other ones I just thought I would mention to you guys so if you guys want to get your own copies then you can so I have narrowed it down to 12 books I have a lot more Christian books but these are the ones that stand out to me more so on that note I'll pick two of them up now so the first one is Hope for the Hurting Heart and the second one is The Journals of Rachel Joy Scott. Now I've already briefly mentioned these in some of my videos already. I read one bit of this book in one video and I explained it to you guys. And with this I did a whole video talking about Rachel Joy Scott and how she's been an inspiration. So I thought I'll get these two books out first, bearing in mind I've already briefly mentioned them in one of my videos already. So if you guys want to know slightly more about these then check those videos out. I will have links in the description if you are interested. So I think this book has a lot of individual stories in it. I haven't really read all of it. But the bit that I was talking about in one of my videos that really stood out to me so I'm sure the rest of the book will as well and this is basically Rachel Joy Scott's story and she was one of the victims of the Columbine High Massacre and she was a Christian so she showed a lot of faith, she stood up for her faith and that's what made her very inspirational to me so I watched the film that they made and I thought I would get the book as well just to see it from different perspectives so there's those two then we have these two books Man Myth Messiah and we have The Case for Christ Youth Edition because I think the adult edition is a bit more complicated to understand so both of these books basically try and prove that God exists, hence the names of them. So this one is the evidence behind God's Not Dead 2, the film, and I've watched all three. Um, and the films are really good, so I thought I would check out this book, because this book was mentioned in the film. And this book was also briefly mentioned in the film, but it was the adult version not the youth version but I thought I'd get the youth version because there's some Christian books that are a bit complicated to understand because some Christian books use quite big words so the books that I'll be mentioning will be quite an easy read but also very meaningful at the same time you learn a lot from them so there's another two so we also have finding your voice I've finished reading this book, but it has been a while since I've finished it, so I don't know everything that goes on. I don't remember it fully, so I may have to reread it. But I remember it being a really good book. Literally, pretty much every page that I turned, I was like, that's a good point. That's a really good idea. So, yeah. And then you also have this book, Faith in the Fog. Now, that's a bookmark so I've started reading it I'm on chapter 2 so I haven't really read much of it but from what I remember of it it is quite a good book same as this book it has a lot in it that you can take from it it also mentions the author's own story own background own experiences whilst also having some Bible references in there, just studying bits of the Bible in relation to their experiences and the book as a whole. So these books are good as well. 
part of me was thinking about reading the back of the books to you guys to give you a bit more of a overall idea of them but I thought that would take a little bit too long so I'm sure that on websites they have the back of the book on there giving you a description so hopefully that will help now as someone that is part of the church worship band these books stand out to me a lot and so we have Here I Am to Worship and 10,000 Reasons I think I've done a cover of 10,000 Reasons on my YouTube channel already so if you want to check that out then you can but I haven't read these at all yet but I am planning to read them but I think they're from what I've heard I think they're based on how the song was created the ideas behind them the stories behind them and to me that's interesting as someone that does worship at church and someone who was a worship leader for the youth I thought this would be good to look at and especially as I'm interested in creating my own songs I have attempted it and I'm not really that experienced in writing songs so they're not perfect but the songs that I write are pretty much based on my own experiences because I draw that inspiration from my own life and worship songs in general most of them are made from artists experiences and others are just made to teach Christians about God and to tell them who God is to them despite their life experiences so these would be great for those that are interested in worship whether you're actually doing worship in church or if you're just interested in doing it then these I'm sure will be a good read because I've heard a lot about them from those that have actually read them so I am definitely planning on reading these at some point so for the last few books that I want to show you guys we have when God Doesn't Fix It and Without Rival. Just like the books Finding Your Voice and Faith in the Fog, these have own personal experiences from the authors and they also have Bible references in them as well. So they have a mixture of both just to keep you guys involved within these books. So these will be good recommendations recommendations as well as I've known people to read these books and they said that they are very easy to read just like the other books that I have mentioned and they're also very inspirational at the same time. Now the last two books we have Beauty Marks which from what I heard is also talking about self-experiences but mainly with the author's daughter whilst also having some biblical references especially talking about women in the bible but they also talk about men as well quite briefly so this book is for everyone and then for the last book we have Unstoppable which is the same as the previous books that I've mentioned before they are full of experiences and biblical references most Christian books are like that but these specific ones are the kind of Christian books that look very easy to read especially for teenagers as sometimes it can be hard for us to read Christian books that have quite big words in it because you do get them sometimes so these are quite easy reads but they're also very meaningful and they teach you a lot of things that you read and then you're like oh yeah that's very true yeah I believe that so it's kind of that agreement with the author and overall the good thing about these books is that they're written by different authors some female authors some male authors so you have a lot of choice there so that's all I have for you today and I hope you guys will have a look at these books online or in a Christian bookshop maybe near you. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Hopefully you'll check out the books and like them just as I like them and am interested in reading them in the near future when I have time to. 
and on that note i will see you guys soon for another video